To make the DAO microemulsions, we're going to make from series two, that'll be EcoSurf EH60 as a surfactant, N-butanol and N-hexanol as a co-surfactant, ShellSol D38 as the continuous phase, the greasy phase, and a water, pH-adjusted water, whatever we choose for the aqueous phase. It's a two-step process. First, we want to make the surfactant, co-surfactant system. Phase diagrams for microemulsions are a bit complicated. They're on a triangular system showing the surfactant phase or surfactant co-surfactant phase, the aqueous phase, dispersed phase, and the continuous phase, the solvent phase. The amount of these materials are usually presented on those diagrams as percentages. We translate that into weight units because all the measurements and percentages are by weight. So we usually work on a balance or scale. So the co-surfactant surfactant system is the EcoSurf EH6, N-hexanol, and N-butanol. The proportion is three and a half grams of the N-hexanol. We want to be wearing gloves, and um, these are stinky and not particularly good to get on your skin. So we want to go to three and a half grams. Because we don't use much of the hexanol, you might want to buy it in very small quantities. Um, chem service in Pennsylvania sells very small quantities of these materials because it's really only used as the co-surfactant in very small amounts. So you can buy 10 or 20 grams from them. So that's 3.5 of the N-hexanol. I want to do 1.5 grams of the N-butanol. Tear the scale. and five grams of the EcoSurf EH6. So this is our surfactant, co-surfactant mixture. And now we'll be using that to build the microemulsion. And this is one leg of the three-legged phase diagram. So we'll take five grams of our surfactant, co-surfactant mixture. two grams of the shell sol D38. And you can see that the surfactant, co-surfactant, and solvent are continuous phase. So that tells us that we can clear this material with the shell sol uh, and not have to use an aqueous system to clear. Then we'll tear our balance and three grams of the aqueous phase. In this case, we'll be using the 6.0 pH, pH adjusted water at 6,000 microsiemens. And that's three grams, tear the balance. Because it's a microemulsion, we've adjusted the surface energy of the aqueous phase and the dispersed phase so that it takes very little agitation to make the microemulsion. 
It's a little cloudy. Again, this is very temperature sensitive, but you notice it's a very free flowing liquid and the surfactant mixture does dissolve in our solvent so we can clear with this and know we're getting the surfactant system off.